Hi guys, let's have a look at using selection tools in Affinity Photo 2 on the iPad and in depth in easy steps. It's an Affinity Photo tutorial and it should be fairly easy to do on, on the desktop as well as the iPad. But setting the scene, let's load a crowd scene from the stock studio. Everything I'm using here is in the stock studio, easy to find. We'll selectively highlight various people to make them stand out. Quite a crowd we've got there. There are two ways to selectively highlight individuals and we'll try them here. The first one is the simplest, changing one face to black and white. So load the image. This is the person I'll change first, because he's there. No other real reason. Select the smart selection brush. Set the brush size to about 65 pixels. Depending on your image, of course, you'll need to experiment with this to get a good size. You don't want it too big or you'll find you're selecting everyone around him as well. And you don't want to select it too small, otherwise you're there fiddling around for ages. So rasterize the image to start with before you try selecting anything. You re otherwise it'll do it automatically, but it doesn't hurt to get in the habit of doing it first. This is found under the icon there. In the layers panel you can see there, there's that little icon up the top. Just tap that and you'll see the option for rasterize. Now we can select the face we want to highlight. You'll see the crawling ants appear. You've got your selection brush set and the size set. So as soon as you tap that chap's face, you'll see the crawling ants appear. If you go over the edge and you're actually selecting somebody else, just switch the subtract mode on. You've got add and subtract in the top toolbar. Just switch it to sub subtract and remove the extra, then check again. When you're happy, just tap the refine tool. That's the little brush up the top there. Now this gives you a clear look at the image. You may not need to brush any oversights, so you can apply the refinement screen. Just tap the tick. Now that one's pretty straightforward there. There's not a lot of, that you can do to mess that up really, but that's the idea. We're back to the image. Don't worry, we'll look at using the refinement tool again a little later. So let's colour the man's face into monochrome. Very straightforward. Open the Adjustment Studio and tap black and white. And there he is. Now we've got it. To remove the context toolbar that's popped up in the right hand side there, open the Layers panel and tap the original layer. It would be handy if that had a, an X or something on it just to, to hide it again when you finish with it, but that's what you've got to do. Context tools removed and done. No, we've still got the crawling ants and you don't want that really. That won't show up if you export it, but you don't want it on your image here either. To remove the crawling ants, tap the deselect tool in the top toolbar. That's that set of squares with little dots around it. Tap that and there you go. Second one down, deselect. And the crawling ants are gone. That's this type of highlight done. Now let's look at its opposite. Reload the same image or simply clear all the effects you just used. So you're back with the basic image again. Add a mask layer to the layer stack. Tap the, tap the plus sign and add a mask layer. It will actually show up beside your pixel layer and you tap the little down arrow there and it'll show you where it is just below it. Select that mask layer then select Adjustment Studio and then tap black and white again. Changes the whole image to black and white. Then select the image layer again. This also gets rid of the context toolbar options again. Now select the Smart Selection brush from the left and set the brush size appropriately. Remember we had it fairly small. A soft basic brush is really good. Select the adjustment layer, make sure the brush colour is black and paint over the selected area. 
You don't have to worry about boundaries, it will only paint within the selection. So you can splodge all over that, but what painting in black is doing is bringing back the colour. Very handy. Deselect the selection to remove the crawling ants, and there's your new image. Now, how can we put this to commercial use? Here's an example you often see. Exactly the same process. You see this quite often in fashion magazines and film where the background's black and white and the model that you're supposed to be looking at is highlight in colour. Same with this, a more complex subject with a little bit of refinement. And you can see the refining screen has been applied there. It's gone all orange, but there in the foreground is the bike. Again, simply brush over the selected area with a soft black brush and like magic, out comes the colour. Now let's have a close look at refinement. <coughs> Excuse me. Back to the girl in the red dress. There are wheat stems and fine hair blowing in the wind. Can we capture that too? Setting the selection brush to 4.4 allows me to very carefully select fine detail areas like the hair strands. You can see the fine ant lines around the strands. I'm not worried about the, the wheat st strands, that's a tongue twister, the wheat strands near her legs just yet. In fact, I may end up leaving those. Fine detail, not bad for a start, needs a little bit more fine tuning, but not bad to start with. We've got all the strands I think that we can get in there without losing detail. So let's do a little refining. When you're happy with the selection, tap the refining tool. You can see the orange background is pretty good. Those blowing strands are nicely picked out. The wheat is adjusted slightly and it's almost ready. The key is not to attempt to fix large areas at once. Be a true artist using careful brush strokes. You can see I've left the, the green wheat stalks against her legs as contrast. Also, it would look odd if they were airbrushed out. Next, with the girl selected, go to Tools, Pasteboard and Copy Merged. Deselect the image in the toolbar, go to Adjustments and make the original image black and white. Then again, select Tools, Pasteboard and Paste. And you're actually pasting the girl exactly back in place. Hair and wheat and all. That's one way of doing it. Now there's another way of doing this. Somewhat easier as it turns out. But don't forget, you can copy merge what you've selected and you can paste that into a completely different image if you like. Create a new image from it. That's where you make a new image from what's in your, in your um, clipboard. Okay, load the image and use the brush selection tool to select the entire image. You can see the ants around the image. That's why this one is on here. See, right around the very boundaries of that image, there's the little crawling ants. That's the entire image has been selected. Now, reduce the size of the brush and change from add to subtract. Now carefully go around the girl's outline again, just as you did before. Check the crawling ants outline. What you're doing is subtracting from the selected image. So you're just leaving the girl and her hair in the selection area. Now select adjustments and select black and white. Done. Deselect to remove the crawling ants. Now you've got no cutting and pasting there, you've just got a layer mask and a black and white adjustment. Too easy. So, thanks for watching. I hope you've gained some ideas and insights for creating your own work in Affinity Photo. Please share the video with friends if you like the idea. I'm sure they'll appreciate it. Give it a special like from the options below. Now I'd really appreciate that.